you know, was always like, well, you know, how do we let those models, you know, run tools? So I, I don't understand why there's not more focus on, well, you know, let's just make sure that they have all the tools that humans would need in order to do that, right? And that, you know, hopefully they work. And I know in my, in my impression, they can do things, you know, just as, you know, humans can, you know, in, in many, 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 many domains, right? The moment that you put the tools in front of them. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's true. You know, one test you can always do is you can go to these language models and you can ask them like, hey, how do I, you know, make the PKA go up on this molecule? Or how could I like improve the solubility? And the words that they use to describe it, like really, it looks like they have very deep understanding of organic chemistry. Like they understand what's an electron withdrawing group. They have memorized all the groups that, you know, more than I could ever memorize. They know principles of like, you know, catalyzing a chemical reaction, like what are good and bad decisions to make for specific reaction classes. But then when they stumble, it's like when they actually have to, to you know, do the actual work of maybe drawing the molecule or like, um, you know, doing the stoichiometry balancing. And in some ways, it's, yeah, like what you said, it's, it's not that surprising. 